Okay, thank you. All right, gang, today um, I'm very excited because I'm in a 2017 Ford Focus RS. It's bright blue, um, it's ridiculous looking, and so far, I can't wait to rip it. I am at a Ford press event in beautiful Gardena, California. Ford has been very kind to bring a plethora of vehicles, including several Ford Focus RSs, which the journalists are all salivating over. What can I say just bumping around town like this? The shifter is very nice, very easy. The clutch is very light and does not communicate much. Um, I'm sure you get used to it. It's plenty fine for daily driving. The seating position is excellent, actually. It's all electric. Um, it has a very massive range of adjustability which is good, it means, it means people of you know, any size and really kind of no matter how you the car up, you can kind of get in here and get comfortable. I had a seat set super low, um, that's a personal preference. It's amazing how much headroom you have. That, this sounds like a really boring thing to talk about, but you realize that if you buy a Ford Focus RS, you may be inclined to go to an autocross or a track day. And helmet room is an undiscussed and very common thing that people gripe about. And this, I'm six foot one, and I have plenty of room. Excuse me, I'm gonna look at the little reference map they have here. Oh yeah, they are taking us right to where I live. They can just take it home today. So I'm surprised how comfortable this car is. I was told that it's, it's people complain about it being harsh, and it doesn't seem to be the case at all. It doesn't, I mean, it, right now we're driving on the 405 South. Um, if you're familiar with Los Angeles freeways, they are not the best. There's all the undulations and broken pavement. And this seems perfectly acceptable for a daily driver to me. Um, granted, I'm a track day bro, so my, my tolerance levels went up. They're probably a bit higher than most, but it seems completely comfortable. This will pass the girlfriend test. If I put my girlfriend in the passenger seat, she probably would notice or complain about it. Of course, I can tell you all the pedestrian facts about the Ford Focus RS, but at the end of the day, this is the hot hatch of the moment, so I'm sure you kind of want to know what it's all about and how it all goes. So I'm gonna find a little opening here and I'm gonna rip it. Let's see, it's 65 miles an hour to returning about 2,500 revs in sixth. Uh, let's see where that puts us in fourth. Probably like four grand. Ooh, that exhaust is quite nice. Um, let's try for third. Oh, it sounds good. Um, all right, we have a little bit of a clearing here. We're going 55 miles an hour, we're at 4,000 RPM. Let's hit it. Oh, wow. That's, that's pleasant. Ooh, the exhaust sounds good. Those are much more rough and gruff and kind of tough feeling. This feels 
very modern, sophisticated, it kind of very European, which I guess is appropriate given the car. best way I can summarize it if you've ever driven maybe an STI or a Mazda Speed 3. It has a pretty similar kind of gusto to it. Ooh, that's a good sound. That's a very nice sound. All right, so I have the car in, I guess, track mode now. I figured drift mode's ridiculous for the streets. I have the car in track mode, and the exhaust seems much more barky, and in a good way. I want to get on it a little bit and kind of let you experience the thunder. So I finally got a little pull through there, a little second and part of third gear pull. Um, still reasonable driving speeds you would expect to hit every day. It seems like despite the bigger engine and the bigger turbocharger, it still falls off a bit up top. I mean, I'm guessing if you're really hammering this thing, you're shifting at 6,000 RPM. I mean, you can use the extra res, but it's not going to accelerate quite as fast. This thing actually is very civilized. I'm actually kind of, I'm kind of surprised. I thought it'd be kind of rowdy and crazy but seems easy to drive other than kind of the weirdly light clutch um yeah this thing seems easy watch i'll say that and i'll just stall it trying to make this u-turn right now but that's okay all right 
right, I'm gonna do a U-turn because I kind of got a little bit lost, and we're gonna do a pull. All right, first gear. That's a really nice sound. That's a very nice sound. This thing torques to you like a mother when you get up when you get up it. This is a press car, so I'm sure it's been driven quite hard. I'm not sure we might have taken a knock or two. But yeah, this thing really likes a torque steer. And it's kind of weird. It's not like on a Mazda Speed 3 when you initially come into boost and torque steer. It's like when you get up in the power band and start to torque steer. Alright. Now shift in second. Brace for the corner. Come around.